What we're going to do in this tutorial is write off of the pages of the Zincart forums. And this tutorial is how do you create a new custom template. Uh, best way for me to learn anything is watch someone else do it. So that's why I do these tutorials based on things that are just right there for you to find out and wade through. But it's a lot more fun just to watch someone else do it. It's pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to create a couple directories uh, with our custom template name in it. We're going to move a couple files, create a few more directories, edit a PHP file, and then we are going to tell the system that those files are there. Now this is what your typical website, this is what it looks like right out of the box. We've added some uh, books in here. We've set up our categories and whatnot, but we'd really like to change the look of our template. So how do we do that? Well, in our directory structure, you know, you've got your site. Mine's called MC New, and I've got all of these folders here. Down here in the uh, includes folder is something called templates. There's currently a couple things in there that you'll notice, but there's a folder called template default, and we've got to snag something out of that in just a minute. We're going to create a new template system for this. So what I'm going to do is create a new folder to handle that. It created in the wrong directory, so I'll just move that here in a minute. It's called Media Center, all right? So that's got to go right here. Now, it kind of begs the question, why are we going to create our own template? Well, we have some designs that we would prefer to use, and we can create those ourselves. Um, but the biggest reason is because when you upgrade Zencart, you download some new software and apply it to your site, there's a chance that items in this folder, this folder, and other places are going to be rewritten. They're going to go away. So you don't want to go about customizing a bunch of stuff over in these in these folders and then have them change with an upgrade. When you create your own folder with your own custom template name, then it doesn't get wiped out when an upgrade occurs. So you're pretty safe in, in uh, having those things there and preserving your designs the way that you like them to be. The next thing we've got to do is we've got to copy this template info PHP and put it in there. So now come back to my media center and paste that. So we've got that. That's got to be edited. So let's get our media center name in here. And this is version one, and doggone it, let me get some credit here. And then you could play with this and do other things if you want. Let's save that. So we've got our own template there now. Now they also want you in this folder to create uh, a number of other folders. Let's take a look at those again. Those are... Um, common sideboxes and templates, all right? And they also want you to drag this CSS file uh, from the template default in there. So let's go ahead and do that. Here are our templates. There's our template default. I'm going to have to copy that. Edit, copy. Go back here. Go ahead and paste that item. So I've copied that over, and let's create a couple more folders in here. This is common. And another one called templates. And the last one was called, I think it's peeking out here, uh, custom. No, that's our name. That's the name of the media center we changed it to. Common CSS images, that's it. Side boxes, images, and side boxes. And I'm not going to put that in the wrong place. All right, so that's what our structure looks like. In our templates folder of the includes folder on our website, I've got a new template called Media Center. You can name it anything you'd like. I have my common, 
my CSS, which was copied out of the template default. I've got images, side boxes, template info, PHP, and templates. These are the suggested things that they have said to set up in the uh, tutorial. And then in the template default, of course, I just copied this item and, and, and used it and then edited it slightly. All right, so now that we've got this set up, let's go back to the website. So here's your typical website, and if I refresh this, not a thing is going to happen. I didn't change anything that affects this template, did I? So what I've got to do is come over to Zencart. In my Tools section, I can select a template, and look at this. It's there now. So if I go ahead and edit the settings and say I don't want the contemporary green, but I want the media center template, go ahead and update the system. I also know that I've got to come up here according to the tutorial and do this layout boxes controller thingy. Hit reset. And let's go back and refresh. And I should look at the, yep, there it is. That's what it looks like. Now I've got some broken links to uh, books and things like that in here. I'm not particularly worried about those right now. But uh, that is how you change the template in Zencart. There's one other thing I want to show you here. Down in the tools in this uh, template selector, I'd love to be able to preview, right? But, but I can't. There's no image of my template. In the default uh, style that ships, you can preview this. That's kind of nice. I'd like to be able to see that too. So the way you do that is you go ahead and let me get the error back again. So it just says there's this file missing. We can create this and highlight that. Copy that name. Let's come back to my layout. And, you know, I could I could shrink this down a little bit to try to get as much of the layout in the picture as I want. But I don't know if I'm going to get any real benefit out of that. So let me just do that. And we're going to file print. Remember, I've got that name copied onto my clipboard. So I'm going to open this in preview. Okay, so that's what my template looks like. That's what that layout looks like. And I'm just going to go ahead and save it as a JPEG. And I want to save it back there in images. Is that my right images folder? Is that the correct one? Is it in Media Center? It is. And let's paste Command V. My name that I've chosen. Get rid of the other extension there. So that's it. Let's go save. No, 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 no. I'll use both for just a moment. Got to change it. It's got to be a JPEG. Did I save that as a JPEG? Let me go back. Maybe I didn't save that as a JPEG. So let's go back and just double check my work here. File, print. Okay, open and preview, save as a JPEG. There we go. Now it's paste, and I've got the full name down there now correctly. Come down to my images folder, which we've already seen that the location is correct. That PDF will be absolutely worthless to us in about 10 seconds. All right, come on back to our admin panels here and in the template uh, selection can we preview our template now yes there it is we've got our own little preview of the template and that's how you customize your templates in Zencart